We recently sold the bus that took us across all of America to the greatest farms this country has to offer. The mop stocking, herbivorous solar conversion, lignified carbon sequestration, fertilization. It's perfect amount for us. This is our steampunk rocket mass heater of science. What's the point of having all this delicious food if you're not gonna like do your best to enjoy it? It was a sad, happy day to involve the kids in that, you know, help them <clears throat> with their grief, help them celebrate, to give them something for their effort and their contribution to the Great American Farm Tour. We thought we would get them something special that each of them wanted. That's a smile of a man with a nice tool. So today, as we do morning chores, I'm gonna show you guys what each and every one of these children picked for their special gift. I think you'll have fun in watching this. It's just a fun video, just relax. The kids will enjoy it. Uh, just have a good time. It's a time of celebration with us of a new chapter in our life. Get in, you gonna ride your Jeep this morning and help out? Okay. I have never seen him so excited. Oh my. Okay, let's get it out. You see it, Mr. Brown? <laughs> yeah! What is it? I'm ready, it's a Jeep! Your first electric vehicle, Mr. Brown. Okay, shall we try to put it together? Yeah! Here, watch out. Y'all yeah, nice. go pull the box back. Uh, take, take the box out. That's his box pedal. Here. Uh oh, where's the third one? The gasoline powder is okay. We're missing one. Just give me a second. Uh -huh. See if that's too short. Sit in there, Mr. Brown. Put oh, on the gas. Get in, push on the gas. Get in, push on the gas. Push on the gas with your foot. Ah, oh, no. Whoa, now we just have to. Are you breaking it? No, we're putting the seat on. I want to do a breaking it. Get in. Tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. your battery will be ready to go. Get in. It is time to go to bed. Okay, yeah, buddy? Yeah, I get to sleep in my Jeep. You're going to sleep in your Jeep? Yep. Okay. You're going to sleep in the tailgate? Yep. Get in. Is that your bed set up? Yeah. Are you comfortable now? Get yeah. in. In the back of your truck? You're yeah. going to stay there and be quiet yeah. and go to sleep? Okay. Yeah. Good night. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the oh, hug. Thank you. You're welcome. It's the next day. Hey, did you did you end up sleeping in there all night? Nope. No. No. <laughs> he ended up. But that's okay. Bed. Maybe tonight. You ended up with Josiah. Yeah. Okay. No. You ready to give it a try? It's time. Go get in. Okay. You're burning out, buddy. <laughs> oh, you're having a good time. <laughs> it's mine. You got Laurel on there. Come on, drive, drive by. Yeah. Woo! Okay, and why did you want a Jeep? Because I can carry hay. To carry hay? You want to help out on the farm? Yeah. And carry, and carry tops. What about sandbags? You could carry sandbags. Yeah. Only if you put too much weight on it, it will. Already, the chickens have done a fabulous job. They go straight for the cover crops first, I'm noticing. Day one, guys. No problem. You're going to get this done in 14 days. <laughs> yes. Cows are finally up here in what I call the north field. New pasture. There in this lane, the grass is on down the lane. Look, we moved them yesterday. This afternoon, we've been working on the lane across the road. We're done down there. Grass is growing. We need to get on the other side of the pasture. We gotta, gotta, gotta get aside this road. We're gonna try our lane system for the first time. Let's see how it does. We've got the calves away for the night. I know, let's get her out. We treated her. She's got a little sore on her teeth. Come on. A little vitamin E. 
little uh, superior cow cream. Come on. Let's go. Fresh grass, fresh green grass for you guys. Yeah, you can let that down. Come on. Here, you might have to herd Phyllis. Hey, come on, come on. Come on, this might be difficult because she's going to be hunting her baby. Hey, 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 hey. Let me see that. Hey, hey. All right, let's go up the road, guys. Oh, this is going to be... Come on. Come on, Stud, lead the way. Lead the way, Stud. Come on. Here we go, here we go. Let's go. Here, you bring up the rear. I'm going to hold him up the side, okay? That was smooth. Hey, you can take the fence down as we go up. It's like they know. They're so excited. Green grass, right? This is going so smooth. We'll take hay and go down the road and then check them out eating the green grass. I want you to look. Beautiful. Beautiful sight. So, so I turn us on, buddy. That is one of the most beautiful sights in the world. Cows on new grass. We brought hay, but I don't think you guys are going to need it. We could, since we brought it, let's, let's haul it up there. It's good to put it up high and let the nutrients fall down. That's what I like to see. Cows, no interest in the hay. Flossie well, Flossie just ran up there, but largely happy with the grass. That all went really well. I'm really happy about getting them over here. This morning, we got a little bit of time. We're gonna keep doubling up this lane so the calves can't get out. We need to be bringing the calves in by themselves in the evening because we are crossing a public road. It's not very crowded, but I just don't want the drama of bringing in the big cows every day. Right here, we have a problem because it is a forest. That's a good thing. They can get shade here, but we got to keep this fence clear of these brushes. That's where we got some uh, manly men right here. Your new, your new hatchet, Josiah. Whoa, look at that case. Can That's you serious. Me, Lift the top. Whoa. Comes with a piece of hide. Feel it. It's a real piece of hide. That's a really cool hatchet. What kind of wood is that? I don't know. I think it's a, it's a birch wood or something. It's a nice hatchet there, buddy. Nice. Oh, hey, why did you choose a hatchet? Because it's small and I can carry it easily. Nice. I like it when they choose stuff that they can help out on the farm with. We've got two strands all along here, I believe all the way across this field. We need it on there. We need to add one here. We got this far. So, all right, let's keep going. Yesterday, we ran the cows through this lane all the way out here to this new pasture. They absolutely loved it. I, they frolicked. Even Phyllis, even fat Phyllis frolic. And look, we put their hay up top. Why? Why do we put their hay up top? To get the nutrients up here, like this manure. And then the nutrients run downhill. And this is a poorly pasture, so this is going to improve it significant. Nothing is gonna improve a pasture or soil faster than putting animals on it. Getting some manure on it, getting some spent hay on it. What'd you say? We're always getting hay. Um, later this morning we might get them a bell. We wanted to finish. I want it. We will. We'll get them one. Let's put this in the back of your truck. Ready? Okay, you guys. Wait. Take all the gear down to the garage. Okay. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Thanks for putting our lane up. We got a warning so people don't run into this electric fence. You guys ready to get them? Just the cows, we don't need stud nothing. Jonah already used one of his tools right here to trim back some of these branches for our lane. Saw that one limb. Put it, there you go. Perfect, that was a breeze. 
<laughs> Look at that smile. Look at that smile. That's a smile of a man with a nice tool. Why do you want so many tools? Like the jigsaw and the light. Those are for the farm, like the light I can use at night. And then the jigsaw we can use to cut animals in half, like the pigs and the sheep and the cows. Toolbox, not a terrible idea. I like this one. Okay. There's storage in the bottom. Yeah, and the top. I like that compartment too. You can kind of be more organized about something. So drill bit? Yeah. That is always a win, buddy. You're looking for cordless power. I'd like part of this. Okay. It'll go off and, my batteries. And that would be amazing. That would go off your batteries. That would be amazing too for when we do butcherings. Yeah, how much is that's it? That's what all the guys are doing. 109 bucks. 109 bucks. Okay, yep. that's a reasonable price. What do you think? Should I get this? <laughs> yes, a good flashlight this is always a plus. I think they've I got some. It, Donna. Yeah. yeah, you can. And that will work with your battery? Yes, they will. So are you yes. done, buddy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a good, good investment, buddy. I'm dry, Papa. I'm get a board for the door, like a, in, in my cabin. A board. I just might look at some of the boards. Okay, you don't have, we don't have it? We have boards. I guess I'll just use the boards that we have. Yeah. And we already have a door, so I'll just use Okay, and if we don't, after you go through our boards, we'll come get you one. Okay. How happy were you when you were checking out with all those new tools? I felt good. Here we come. We got an opportunity. The ladies are ahead. Yep, both ladies are ahead. She guys, come on. Walking by, not making eye contact. Okay, I'll get Phil and Flossie going. Come on. She's running. All right, Miss Thang, let's go across the road. We can't leave this lane up while we milk, so let's put it down. I'm gonna get the cat out. Thank you, Lily. Good catch, cowgirl. Oh, good job, girl. Put the put the strap on it. Good job. Now hook it up. How do you put this in? Good job, Lily. Hey, uh, what did you get for your going home present? A horse stable with two dog horses. Come here, Lily. Your kitty. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. I'll get you the horses. Did, they, yeah. did you get two horses? It's a horse yeah. barn. Oh, yeah. Whoa, they're, they're big horses. Oh my god, there's two. Get the other one. I'll get the other one. I got it. I'll get one. I got it. Here, Lily. Hey, you having a good time on your horses? Yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah. You like your stable? Okay, good. What made you want a horse stable? Because I like horses. Okay. Good. You got this, huh, Lily? She insisted on doing this by herself. And she's probably got a good court. For the rest of the day, today, Tuesday, Jill Winger from the Prairie Homestead, my friend, we visited her on the Great American Farm Tour. She's doing today's classes on fermentation. It's a crash course in heritage cooking. It costs absolutely nothing. Tomorrow, which is Wednesday, is gonna be on, oh, let me look at my notes real quick. Home cured meat, and for busy people, and grass fed meats. That's one thing I like about Jill, is she cooks in this heritage way, but it's not these complicated, very difficult, in the kitchen all day recipes. Go check that out, link in the description.